Hi channel. Today we shall be looking at skip connections. If you are an AHIM deep learning researcher, you must have heard about the ResNet architecture. Now, the key concept in the ResNet architecture comes from the skip modules. And now, what is the intuition behind this? It is that to be able to solve the problem of vanishing and exploding gradient problems, which I've explained in one of the videos, is that we can, the authors intuit that you can use a skip connection so that back propagating the gradient flow to adjust the weight could have alternative route. And this has proved to work. So now, so when you have a very deep network, you can overcome the problem of vanishing and exploding gradient descent using the skip connections. All right, and this is the skip connections. So here, uh, ordinarily you have this, this is a typical flow from your input layer then you have a set of convolutions and it continues. So the idea is you now have a skip connection, connection that flows directly to the output of this module. That's a skip connection there. And what you do is you combine the operation using simple element by element addition. So you just add, add here. That's up. Now, what the connection is doing is, so if this is the input X, this is the input X, this uh, module is taking the X and is producing C of X. Now you are just literally passing the X on altered to this place and you are adding it to get this F of X at the end of this operation here. So the, the convolution part is trained to compute, which is C of X equals to F of X minus X. So the difference between the desired output and the input. So the authors argue that this residues is easier for the network to learn. And that's just all. So now, as you can see here, you have a, uh, some modifications of all different um, uh, variations. So if the this block changes the width and height, then you won't be able to do the element-wise addition. That's what this is saying. That the element-wise addition can only work if the dimensions of the data remain the same unchanged but if it does so the sequence of layer that, that is straddled by a skip connection is called a residual block so this is what we refer to as a residual block and this must preserve the height and the width and the number of channels but in case if that changes the height and the width and the number of channel all you can just do is you can use a one by one convolution in the skip connection and use a stride to be able to reduce the width and height to the desired width and height of the residual block. This is what they refer to as the residual block. So for here you have the width and the height is 56, number of channel is 256. And by the time they pass this 256 channel to this uh, residual block, it reduces it, the output uh, increases it to 512 channel. Of course, you can't do 512 channel, you can't add do element wise addition with 256 channel because the dimension does not matter. So, you need to have a way of increasing the channel of this 256 to match 512, and that is what this one by one convolution with a, a number of channel of 512. So all this is just doing is just expanding the channel using just a constant uh, uh, multiplication value, which is the one by one convolution. So remember that the one by one convolution just uses the, the single value 
and multiplies the entire uh, the entire width or the entire feature map with just a single value, just like scaling. Okay, and if you just use one, then it remains the same. But if you specify a different number of channel, then it expands the channel so that it can match. So by the time you come in here, you see that this is also 512 channel and you can do the element wise addition on that. So this makes the number of channel here to be 512 so that they can be equal. And the final here is um, 28 by 28. All right. So that's that about the skip connections and you can see the residual block itself the 50 or 101 represent the number of the layers the number of by stacking more and more residual block so you have those uh, based on the number of depth that you have all right so uh, that's that about the skip connection and residual thank you for listening and see you in the next one